Hello viewers, this is your tutor Roger Michira and the channel you're watching is Elimu TV where you get to watch and learn. Now this is our history class and we did introduce development of agriculture as a new topic. But again, let us look at what are some of the few things that we have discussed earlier. We did look at how man domesticated animals and also how man domesticated crops. But again, before we go to today's topic, who can get to remind us what are some of the animals that man domesticated? Good. There was a dog. There was a sheep. There was also a goat. Thank you. Now, in today's class, we get to look at what are some of the benefits of these animals that were being domesticated by man. We have just said of a dog, a goat, sheep, a cow, a camel, right? But again, what are some of the benefits of these domesticated animals? For example, one, they provided regular supply of food in form of meat and milk. Now, class, who can get to tell us what kind of animals that get to supply us with meat and milk? Good. We have a cow, goat, and sheep. Those are the, uh, the three animals that get to supply us with uh, meat and also and also milk for example get to look at that right in the first image you can see a cow right and then slightly in the first image you can see uh, a bucket of milk right so it that tells us that a cow gives us also milk look at meat i know a number of you are salvating already that's meat right the red meat from animals right the red meat from a goat also red meat from from, from a cow now, apart from cows or rather cattle giving us milk and meat, they also give us skins, or rather we, we also call them hides. And what is the use of these skin hides? The skin, the, the, the hides from animals. So we must get to know that it was used for cloth, uh, clothing and bedding. And you might be worried, bedding, how was it used? Early man used this as a, as, as, as a cloth. Right? And also, today, we use, we use this as a bedding. Look at that. Now, that's the hide that has been dried up, and it can be used as a bedding. Now, apart from the skins, can we get to look at the horns and the hooves? Right? So now, we get to realize that animal hooves and the horns were used as drinking vessels and also in communication. Now, class, when we talk of drinking vessels, you might be worried. You know, remember, these people didn't have the cups you're having now right these people didn't have the glasses you're using now they used these hooves as drinking vessels look at that yes there is a vessel that has been made out of a hoof right the animal hoof the dangy hooves good now they were used as drinking as drinking vessels and also in communication right remember the traditional forms of communication one involve the use of horns look at that they could blow horns as a means of communicating information, right? That is it, that is it. And also, get, let us look at some of those animals, for example, the, the, the donkey and camel. And what comes to your mind? These are pack animals, donkey, a camel, right? Those are pack animals. And these pack animals were used as a form of transport, right? They could be used in carrying goods. They could be used in carrying people also. Look at that, the first image you have there. There's a donkey. Right? It's carrying goods. Right? It is used in transport. And also, another, fun, uh, another use of these animals was that they were used in land cultivation. Then you might be worried, how were they used in land cultivation? I know many of us take part in agriculture and we use what we call the ox plough. Right? Now, the ox and donkey were used in cultivating. Look at that. The first image there we have. Right? There's a person cultivating, tilling the land. Using, using the ox drone, right? That is it. Then you can guess also get to see the second, the second image there, a donkey, a donkey used in cultivating. So in the first image is an oxen, then the second image is a donkey. Then apart from these other animals, let us look at the dog, right? Now, you must get to realize that a dog is one of the man's best friend. So he protected him against dangerous animals, right? Protection. We are, talked of, we are talked of security. Look at that. Look at that dog, right? How it's providing security. It is, it is harassing someone there, right, from entering the compound. 
Then look at the teeth, very fierce dog, right? So it protected man against dangerous animals and also people. Now class, can we get to state some of the benefits of these domesticated animals by man and also get to refer to evolving world, history and the government from one the Oxford University Press. And as always, this is LMUTV, your favorite channel where you get to watch and learn.